Man, in today's video, we're talking about this trending topic called the 4B movement. What is my take? What do you need to know? Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, on social media, man, you see people talking about this 4B movement that originated in, I want to say, Korea, where you have a particular group of women that say, man, we're trying to be self sufficient, self reliant, and we don't need a man. And, uh, you know, today I'm gonna give you my take, my opinion, tell you what you need to know about it. You know, but before I do that, man, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on if you haven't already done so. Man, there is an agenda by the adversary to pretty much go against the will of Yah. And that's all the 4B movement is. You know, so many places in the word, you know, we get examples of how we should be living, but then you see Hasatan or Satan, the adversary, using all these spinoffs, all of these new uh, agendas to try to sway people away from that. You know, when you see in the beginning, it's a man and a woman. The most of y'all created the woman to be a help me. Some women don't want to do that. You know, they simply don't want to be a, a help me to a man. They're going to take the stance of what about my voice and my freedom and all of that. And we see that a price was paid for a wife, especially a virgin wife. There was a, a, a bride price that was paid to the father. Some women don't don't want to believe that they won't conform to it and they won't even acknowledge that as biblical truth. OK, so that's the. That's the foundation we're starting from. You know, this 4B movement is nothing but another spinoff of feminism. And the Western society is very familiar with this. Man, I would tell you as a man or a woman that if you're seeing this 4B movement and stuff and you truly believe in the Most High Yah, man, don't even waste your time with it. Because here's the thing, I say this often time, the choices people make shape the environment that they have to live in. And if the 4B movement, when you think about there, there's a lot of truth and a lot of, when you think about the 4B, when you think about the 4B movement, there's possibly a lot, a lot of delusion tied up in it. Are these women going to uh, only want to be with women and not have nothing to do with men? Are they ever going to want to conceive a child? Where is that uh, seed for the child going to come from? It only can come from a man. You know, oftentimes when people choose to live like this, they don't think about the future. Oftentimes they don't have a prudent spirit. You know, all it would take is about three or four generations, you know, of women gravitating towards that for those people to go extinct because they cannot reproduce. So the big picture is, man, if you want life to go on, you have to do it the only way possible. You see what I'm saying? There, there, there is no truth in, I don't need a man but yet I want to use a man for his seed to bring a child forth in this lifetime, you know? And I, I, I stay clear out the way. When the word says avoid such people, man, I avoid such people. If that's the way you choose to live and want to live, be my guest. But I'm going to stay out your way because if that's the agenda that you're promoting, you will surely go extinct as well with some of these other uh, alternative lifestyles where people are following the lust of their flesh, you know, 
And there are some, there are some Western women that are gravitating towards it. Why? Because they already took part in the feminist agenda. It's the next talking point for them to gravitate to be relevant in their rebellion, you know, but for the men and women that are striving for righteousness, don't even concern yourself with it. It's not even worth looking into, not even worth looking into because we know the adversary is constantly trying to confuse the minds of people, you know, try to give you all these different alternatives. You know, it, it, it's kind of like religions and all these denominations. You don't even see them all throughout the book. You look at uh, John the Baptist, and if we go deeper into that, that was actually, it wasn't the Baptist, it was the Mercer, but people made a spinoff, a denomination of, now this is the Baptist denomination. And there's so many different spinoffs, and the adversary uses that to confuse people. So you got, uh, you got feminism, you got different facets of that in the West. And then in Korea, they got what they call the 4B movement. And I would encourage you, I would encourage you to stay A1. Keep it all the way 100. Keep it A1 in righteousness. Don't partake in the foolishness that ultimately Hasatan is behind. That's my take on the 4B movement. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.